Fireman Pat, Fireman Pat, Fireman Pat, Daddy's black and white cat. Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. This is the big old episode 100. Episode 100. Isn't that crazy? So much has been done in 100 episodes. I cannot quite believe it myself. I'm going to start off today by doing the bit of the world tour like we always do every 25 episodes. And we'll finish off the episode by having a look at it in the overviewer version of the map. I've got an up to date one that was done just a moment ago. So it's got all the new skyscraper that we built last episode uh, and stuff like that. Still got the plane down there that I can't get rid of though. Oh, and by the way, I do know that it's Postman Pat and Fireman Sam, not Fireman Pat and his black and white cat. I just thought I'd do that because it sounded really funny uh, before you guys all rage at me in the comments section for getting it wrong. So how are we going to do this world tour? Are we going to do it in a helicopter tour? Uh, probably not. I'll do a little bit of helicopter later on, but I'm not that good at flying. Uh, let's start over on the left-hand side of the map. Uh, this is sort of an addition part of the city. This was its own series. This wasn't actually done in Let's Build a City, but it was done in the city world. And it's just its own little private island. You know what? I'm going to take the shaders off because I don't like the shaders with the water. I'm still not a fan of it. I've tried to let it grow on me. I like it on shallow water. I don't like it on deep ocean water. I'm going to have a look at another shader pack. Uh, you guys have su suggested some really cool ones, so maybe that's something that I need to do. And I don't quite know what's gone on here, but I have noticed it on a couple of other things. All of the trap doors, for some reason, have been like reset to their default uh, facing down like form. I don't know why that's happened, um, but I have noticed that I've, I've put them down in a couple of other places because I thought it was just me being silly, but obviously something that I've done, it must have been maybe when I transferred the world over onto a new computer, or maybe it was when I installed the door mod, it could have been something like that, uh, no we don't have the door, yeah we do have the door mod on this world, yeah yeah yeah, so it could be that I don't know, but this is its own little uh, private island here, swimming pool and a uh, and, and little mansion on here. He's got sort of like a, a little bit of a farmland. We've got his boats and his sailboats and stuff. I really like it. Moving over into the main city itself. We're going to go what I'm calling east to west. Is that actually east? Like, is that is that actually east? What way is the direction? Oh, it's west. South. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that would be right. Yeah, yeah, we can start at the west and go to the east. It's uh, quite uh, the coincidence that I ended up building with that to the north. It just makes sense to me, uh, as soon as like, the beach is to the south. It was just pure luck. We've got the hotel, the Amanda Hotel. It was a building sent in through either Facebook or Twitter. I can't remember which one. Uh, with a building, a photo of a real-life building, a hotel, which uh, she said, this would look really good in your Minecraft city. It should be a building that you take inspiration from. So we did, and I'm so glad that I did it. This is one of my favorite parts about the interaction with you guys, uh, is you get to send me through buildings that I would have never have seen or found by myself and I don't know it's one of my favorite buildings on the world I, I don't know if it's like the color matching uh, that really helps or it's the, the shading I think it's a bit of everything I think it's the colors have really worked well together I think it's the shape of the building itself uh, just very very pleasing to to look at we've got the pigs restaurant here uh, a meat sort of a, a what do they call them, like a banquet restaurant, you know, very sort of posh, uh, all kinds of, of different meats out on display, uh, just a high-end restaurant that we've got in the city, and coincidentally, it's also by the police station, some people get this joke, some people don't get this joke, um, if you do get it, then, yeah, I find it quite funny, it was an accident, if you don't get it, it's because... Uh, some people call the police the pigs because, like, they're always eating stuff and uh, they're then, I don't know, not really friendly. So they try and insult them by calling them pigs and uh, having a restaurant called Pigs right near the police station. I found quite funny. We've got the KFC. Oh, it, it, it does have an interior as well. Some of these have interiors. I do have a big announcement that I'm going to make maybe when I get halfway through the city, when I get to the skyscrapers. Just to the edge of them. I've got a bit of an announcement. It's not a guaranteed announcement, but it is an annou announcement nonetheless. Nonetheless, blur words. We've got the KFC. Uh, what again? One of my favourite buildings. I've got a lot of favourite buildings. There isn't really any buildings on the world yet that we've done that I haven't liked. 
uh, if I don't like something, I usually tear it down and rebuild it. But uh, yeah, everything so far I've really, really liked. The police station was one of the first buildings. This always happens. You need to end up opening up the garage. Oh, have I broken that? I think I've broken it. That garage door does open and close, but obviously the command block is a little bit bust on the inside. Yeah, it looks like I've been down, down here uh, a couple of times. I went down there for some reason. I can't remember what it was. This is the police station. This does actually have policemen in, but again, the doors don't work at the moment. I don't know why they're not working. It must be the same problem of what the trap doors like the same problem from that, maybe like transferring the world onto this new PC, uh, just sort of soft locked everything for the moment. I just need to like break it and replace it and sort of block update it uh, and it'll work again. Uh, but yeah, police in here. Now these NPCs along with other NPCs will actually react to uh, to different stuff that you do. If you actually shoot one of these or hurt one of these, uh, they'll all start shooting back at you. Uh, it's really quite cool and I'm going to be talking a little bit more about how we can incorporate that later on. We've got some jail cells and stuff like that. And I think a little bit of a CCTV place slash armory in here as well with the guns. Very, very cool. Let's uh, get out of here. We'll go out the back door. Got the police cars out the back. I retextured these. These were like uh, an American uh, textured police car. Like all uh, like police cars in mod packs seem to be uh, the American iconic style. Uh, but in the UK, we have it in this design. This, this is like how UK police cars look with this sort of yellow and blue Battenberg down the side. It's definitely not the most prettiest type of, uh, uh, like, paint job, if you like, on a police car. Uh, but boy, do they stand out. You know when one's about, that's for sure. <laughs> They're not very subtle with their paint jobs in the UK. Uh, but yeah, it, it, I... This is meant to be a UK-ish style city. We've got some aspects of all sorts of different countries in here, but we drive on the left uh, and have UK police cars and stuff like that just because that's what I'm used to. I can't build a city where you drive on the right because I just have no knowledge of how the, work, the roads work. I get myself so confused about it. Uh, we've got a multi-story car park here. Very, very nice looking. I still think that I can get these barriers to work with command blocks. So, like, you can hit the button and they're looping up. I really don't think that's going to be too much of a problem to do uh, in the future. We've got the uh, gas station. It was what we call in the UK just a fuel station or petrol station. Even though they sell diesel as well. But we usually call them petrol stations. Uh, and we've done this in an orange colour. Because what we're going to do in this gap here is build the actual supermarket uh, that goes with it here in the UK. And I'm sure in the US, uh, they usually bundle together a supermarket and a fuel station uh, in very close proximity to each other. And both owned by the same company. Uh, that's at least how it works in the UK with Sainsbury's or Asda or Tesco's. Uh, just like three of the sort of main Morrison's or whatever uh, so those four main uh, supermarkets that we have in the UK uh, very often have their own fuel station nearby uh, which is very handy because you can sort of do your food shopping and then uh, grab fuel afterwards it's got a little car wash at the back as well we've got the nightclub a very recent build I still like this with the doorman out the front uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a nightlife strip that goes into the stadium when we build it which then goes into some beach houses uh, further down, which then goes into the industrial estate. That's the plan for this entire strip. We've got that nailed down. There's still some spots in the city where I'm not quite sure what I want to build in the certain gaps, but they're gaps that I just don't want to waste. But yeah, there are a lot of ideas sort of being solidified uh, in place now. Uh, concreted in and cannot be changed. You know, that's how I've got it in my head. Uh, this pier still needs a little bit of work. A lot of it is sort of done and in, in place, uh, but we've got definitely more of these uh, little fairs to do down the side. I've got the building in the middle. This is the ice cream parlor that I need to do. I actually have forgotten about that. That's just reminded me. We've got a little ice cream parlor that I want to do in the middle here. And at the end here, this was based off, I think, some German or some Dutch uh, building that was on the end of the pier. I can't for the life of me remember. Oh, wow. I never finished it with the glass. I never put the glass there. Huh. Um, but, yeah, this is like a... Um, random banging just interrupts my video. This was meant to be, uh, or, or originally was a live performance, like live concert thing in real life. Like, there's actually, it's a lot bigger than this in real life. And there's like a, a, a horseshoe of stairs of... of 
chairs and then a performance at the end now obviously this the pier wasn't big enough to do that so we made it into a little bit of a sort of cornucopia sort of a, a meeting ground or some sort of interior even if i just fill it with chairs you know to sit down in uh, after you've got an ice cream or like a hot dog from this little food area that it's going to be uh, but yeah and then some attractions we've got the fishy dip roller coaster and the uh, ferris wheel on the side here very very nice very very nice once i go i think more inner city and we get away from the beach here i shall put the shaders on so we can see a little bit of a glowing light all over the place i love the shadows i really like this shader pack it's a really nice one i just hate the water i really hate the water i tried to let it grow on me i said that i would give it a chance but no it's just not working uh we've got the uh, industrial estate on the side here uh, some i think four different colored but the same style buildings uh this is very common in the uk as well to have uh like just a big stretch of, of basically warehouses uh, if it be like a pc worlds or and uh, it could be a suit some sort of smaller supermarket uh boots things like that uh drug stores uh this is a random plane, which I cannot get rid of. I'm still trying. Uh, I haven't tried since, in all honesty. Uh, I crashed it down there. It was a plane from a new mod that I installed that had the fire truck in at the beginning of the episode. Um, and it had some planes in there, but the planes were really bad. They were they were really slow. Uh, so uh, I haven't been using them, but I when I tested it out, I ended up crashing it, and I can't find where the hitbox is to break it. We've got the observatory at the top here. Not too much on this yet, uh, but we figured out quite quickly that we want to turn this into the university. It would make a lot of sense to have the observatory by the university. Uh, so incorporating them all into one building would be great. We've got a little bit of a car park here. That could be extended a little bit further. And then what I might do is either flatten a little bit of this mountain to be able to extend out more buildings of the same style uh, to make sort of different wings of the university around here. Still working in my head on that, like silently uh, behind the scenes, those kind of things are being worked on. A little windy road that goes all the way up to the airport. One of my favourite parts of the map, in fact. And it looks like all the trees have eventually grown. I haven't been up here in ages. Uh, but yeah, we've got this nice sort of three-tone trees. We've got oak tree, spruce tree and birch tree to get uh, like as many different sort of shades of green as possible to give it that real foresty look these are the planes that i like these planes actually move quickly they can take off and they can land somewhat easily and a couple of uh, uh helicopters up here as well a couple of little hangars with a small plane more of a private cessna style plane in there and a control tower at the end here it's just out of render distance there we go look beautiful and there's a big old runway uh long enough to land and take off a minecraft plane in maybe not 100 percent to scale in real life i would expect that a runway would need to be probably triple if not four times that length in real life uh, but in minecraft that's the perfect length to be able to take off and land uh, with relative ease the zono wood sign overlooking the entire uh, city up here obviously inspired from the hollywood side uh, but it makes a lot of sense uh, down here we've got the small housing estate but is growing these are more suburban houses i mentioned earlier on in the episode that we wanted beach houses along the beach uh, i want to do those in gta 5 style uh, beach houses if you've ever played that game at the very beginning uh with uh, what's his name i can't even remember you got trevor michael and Trevor Michael and I can't I can't remember his name. How bad is like remember that? Uh, but you start off the game with him and you have to steal a car right at the beginning, and uh, there's these beach houses in the scene uh, that the guy's car that you're trying to steal lives in and they're really cool looking buildings. As someone said in the comment section, you should build those style buildings out on the beach. Now they're very um, American style buildings. Uh, they're very we, we don't find those kind of buildings in the UK, but they do look really nice So I do want to add them. We've got the auto repair shop or how we call it in the UK a garage and uh, I really like this one too. We've got some nice cars sitting out the front I did have to actually remove uh, a lot of the cars from the city uh, that I had placed down like in the multi-story car park and sitting in a lot of car parks because my old computer was just not powerful enough to handle these entities uh, just sitting there it sort of freaked out so I had to remove them uh, but this computer is like not having a problem at all I mean we're running while recording with the shaders on at 50 to 50 frames per second uh with maximum render distance all these mods shader pack 
resource pack. I mean, everything. And uh, yeah, it, it's not even Birkenhead Island. But yeah, we've got like a car up on the ramps. That was annoying to get up there. We've got a car on the diner that looks like it slid off a little bit. They do move sometimes, just for some reason. I don't really know why. Uh, this is a little corner cafe, uh, a little sort of uh, sandwich shop. And then we've got, uh, I think this was meant to be, it's uh, unfinished yet. And I don't like the glass as well. That's another texture that I want to change. I've got an idea on how I'm just going to do that. I just haven't had a chance uh, recently. But I don't like the glass in this texture pack either. We've changed it a few times, but I think I know what I want to do uh, to fix that. But I think that's going to be a newspaper, uh, like a building, editor's building. Uh, and then we've got some sort of just normal uh, shop, like that'll just sell like, drinks and you know like you always have one by a school don't you? you always have which there is right nearby you always have like a little shop like a little one stop uh they call in the uk or something like that uh where you could just pop in before school and get some sweets and stuff like that uh but yeah very suburban houses around here uh you know detached uh buildings we've got rainbow row which are very inner city buildings so they're very thin and together that we saw did i show you that early on i don't i think i missed that I think I missed that. We'll sort of arch our way back there. We've got the fire station with the new fire engines that we only added a couple of episodes ago or so uh, from a new mod. It added a bunch of more uh, utility vehicles, cement mixers and things like that, uh, which I still haven't added to the... I haven't had a chance to add to the... Um, uh, construction site where the new skyscraper is but yeah it's a really nice looking fire station uh designed off a real fire station as well in fact have i got like a block missing here oh no that's the corner yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember the design now okay so we'll head back over this way you know what we're gonna do a little bit of an announcement because we're sort of where i'm gonna call halfway through the video or, or halfway through the tour and uh it's always a longer video on episode 100 they always seem to go a little bit longer because we're looking at each building but what is the sort of announcement? It's not guaranteed yet. It's not 100% confirmed. But remember at the beginning of this series, right back on episode one, there was an original plan. The original plan was to build a city during a series like we've been doing. And then once it's completed and the city is 100% finished, I wanted to make it into a server. So you guys could come and chill out and just drive cars around, fly helicopters and planes, hang out with each other. Uh, we've got loads of guns, you know, have some shootout battles and just have a load of fun, you know, go in all the buildings, find some vantage points uh, and just let you guys explore uh, on a server with me. And obviously I haven't really looked into it at all because we're nowhere near done with the city. We're 100 episodes in. I would say maybe 30% complete, 40% complete. You, you can tell from the overview map that a lot of the world is sort of covered, uh, but there's just some, some, you know, a lot of gaps to go. Uh, definitely not halfway through yet. So I haven't looked into finding anybody that can do this, but then I got a message not so long back from someone uh, saying that they would like to try and make it into a server. Uh, I don't know if they'd watched my first episode or if they were just sort of sending a message just to see. And uh, I said, yeah, go for it. You know, the world download is there for anybody. So it's not like I'm giving him my world and hoping that he won't uh, take it and, 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 you know, say that it's his or whatever. Because there's world downloads every 10 episodes anyway. By the way, there'll be one in the description below as long as I remember for an up to date one of everything that we've done today. And um, I said, yeah, yeah, go for it. So he, he started on it and he's working on some really cool ideas, uh, which I don't know if he's going to be able to do or not. I haven't spoken to him for uh, about a week or two now, uh, but I need to get back in touch with him. But he had some cool ideas about potentially having jobs. Uh, he had a demo set up at the KFC uh, where you had to wait tables. So you actually had to, you'd like get your food and it would give you like an, a table number that you'd have to go to. You'd have to go to that table and serve uh, the food. And in return for doing these jobs, you'll earn the uh, money that we have money or you know whatever money he was using you learn you learn that, that cash and with that cash you can then either buy weapons or buy cars or buy apartments if it be uh, i think what he wants to do is have the ability to for each player to buy an individual house or an individual apartment in a skyscraper uh, or whatever and then i think 
what he wanted, what he was saying, and I don't know how possible or plausible this is, uh, but he wants it to be able, you, you to be able to customize your own house or apartment. So he doesn't really want us to do build the interiors to the houses and skyscrapers, which is fine by me because I don't like doing that anyway. He says just sort of leave it blank. And he, he says he's going to figure out some way of being able to make it customizable so you guys can maybe have some sort of Minecraft catalog in the game and you can say that you want that sofa or that lamp and it'll get delivered to you and get like other players to be delivery drivers. I don't know. You know, you can own your own shop. That's the kind of thing that he's thinking of. I'm really excited about it. However, I am a bit of a realist and I can see a lot of these things being a problem to code um i can see this being a little bit awkward but it sounds really interesting he's got some he's got many many more ideas uh about what he wants to do uh he wants people to be able to come uh people to be able to come police officers uh or firemen and actually start fires in the city and be able to put them out that those kinds of really cool jobs i don't know how it's going to work i really don't but uh there's a little that's a, that's the announcement and don't hold your hopes too high yet uh if it doesn't work and he, he can't do it i'm not gonna be hurt by it or disappointed uh we'll find someone else at a later date uh who maybe thinks that they can have a crack at it and be able to do it and uh, we need someone that's like really good at service maybe if you guys know anybody that's really good at making servers and coding stuff uh then then let me know in the comments section or like tweet me his uh twitter handle or something like that uh so i can get in contact with him and start having talks about it because it'd be really cool to get that ball moving uh so when the city is done we can just straight away jump onto the server together uh, and have some fun i'm really excited about that anyway let's continue on we've got the cathedral i'm going to start sort of going through a little bit quicker now uh because i don't want this episode to go on forever this is these episodes are always longer as they are anyway the cathedral a very recent build as well we've got all the gravestones really nice building one of my favorite i'm not gonna say favorite bit one of my favorite builds because i've said that a few times already uh, but it's one of my favorite uh like types of building i do like doing stone buildings in minecraft uh there's so many gray blocks that it just minecraft seems to tend itself towards it and and uh really works well with anything stone any stone builders anything that uses gray works really well in front of that we've got the little town hall well big town hall it's not a little town hall with rainbow row across these are the townhouses that i was talking about very thin but tall they're three stories high but but very you know uh thin on the width uh, buildings they do that in a city to try and fit as many in as possible i mean there's a f quite a few houses there was like 10 houses 11 to 12 houses there it's pretty crazy uh, we've got the uh i don't call, uh, the above ground mono well the the above rail ground you guys always tell me what exactly it's meant to be it's not a subway because it's not below ground it's not a mono rail because there's two lanes it's like a duo layer a, a duo rail i don't know the construction site up here where we've got the uh digger and es excavator and stuff like that very very cool we do have cement mixers now bing i mean it's a little bit tight in here maybe i should extend this now uh and and, and take up this entire area around the crane so the crane's not in the middle of anywhere uh in you know in the middle of nowhere and then we can put some cement mixers down they're really really cool they're like the perfect thing to have out here and there was a few more other ones as well wasn't there uh that would suit well in this area uh we've got military tank no 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 uh tank truck that could work somewhat ah this one yeah this one and these ones these are like uh tipper tracks look so that it's like um you can fill it up and then the back would tip out and this one's a tipper truck that has some dirt blocks or grass blocks inside very very cool idea i really like that and it looks like the grass blocks are actually to scale as well it's not like they're miniature it's like they are the right scale but yeah they're building this skyscraper in front the crane is lifting up a load of steel beams and it's getting up quite high got some red tape at the top some scaffolding around the bottom really cool design because 
it's like pretty much complete at the bottom for the bottom two layers and then it gets less and less completed and less and less scaffolding less and less steel uh as you go higher up so it's like it's, it's being built as it goes we've got the high rise of the city which is going to be which is located in the dead center uh of the city so in the middle uh it's higher up with all these skyscrapers and then the further out to the edges to the coasts of the city that you go the lower the buildings get the shorter the buildings get so you sort of see you know they're very low here the cathedral is a little bit higher and then the skyscrapers are very tall in the middle it's going to make a really nice sort of city look with that but i really really like these this is the new one built uh very very recently was it last episode or the episode before something like that um really cool looking skyscraper here you know white and gold very expensive uh looking skyscraper uh, we'll come over here and then go across, I think. Uh, over here, we've got the uh, industrial section of the city. It's uh, relatively small at the moment. There's sort of one small thing and one large thing. Uh, but I want to extend this maybe down to about here. Have a load of houses and then the stadium, like I said earlier on. And we've got this sort of old uh, ice cream factory at the moment, I suppose, because there's a load of ice cream trucks out the front uh, again this was inspired of a building that i think one of you guys sent in i kind of remember yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. i remember you it was one of you guys uh, that sent it in and uh, yeah it was a very old british style um i think it was a minecraft build as well but then we've sort of taken inspiration we've changed bits made it taller made it shorter added sections to it uh, to make it our own i really really like it. it's very oldy english um 70s or 40s or something like that style building then we've got the cargo port inspired off the call of duty map cargo uh where it's got like the cargo ship and the, the big cargo crane uh in the middle here we just took inspiration from it it's not a one-to-one -one replica of the cargo map from call of duty just taking inspiration from it. i really liked the crane i really liked how everything sort of fit together on that map uh so we sort of made it work in minecraft and i'm really really chuffed with it. let's turn the shaders off while we're by the water again so we actually get a uh, blue uh, water uh, but yeah, really cool, you know, some cranes on the cargo ship themselves, uh, some sort of delivery trucks, some forklifts, which for some reason are actually alive, like they will actually turn and move. <laughs> you can drive them, you can sit in them and drive them, uh, but it's like they almost take the, the, like, workings of a donkey or a horse, so they actually, like, live... They don't walk anywhere, they just turn. They don't, like, move forward or backwards or anything like that. All they do is turn. Uh, but uh, then you can ride them like you would with the donkey. I, it's very, very strange. It's very, it's a very strange thing. Uh, we've got the highway that goes through here, the motorway that goes through here, up above, uh, and over the sort of lake section that comes into the city. Uh, we've got the railway, and then we've got this small bridge, which we've done in sort of redder, rustier, older style, because this area is going to be the somewhat lower end of the city, the, the, the not poverty side. Uh, I, I, I called it scum uh, in, in one episode because it's like uh, graffiti-ridden, uh, crime-ridden, uh, things like that. And, then you know, scum areas just... There was no... It's scum... Yeah, no slums, not scums. <laughs> no, you know, not scummy people, it's just the slums. That's a better word. Just lower end. So we've got the skate park and the basketball courts, uh, you know, for the teenagers that they're just trying to get them out from graffitiing all of the... Uh, all of the posts that are underneath the highway, getting from hanging out there. So we need some lower end houses, some smaller uh, trailer style, maybe, you know, some of them trailer style, some of them just a little bit broken down. Just a lower end section, you know, it's, it's very dark and shady because of all of the bridges around here. I've got a place like this not too far away from me either, about 50 minutes away. It's Have I got a block missing there? I do. Uh, you're not too far away from me where it is it actually has a basketball stadium and a skate park and the buildings are sort of a bit broken down and it's a little bit rough like you don't trust the people that are walking down the path there uh, yeah over here uh, which I think we're starting next episode is the racetrack for the race cars for like the F1 cars that we've got uh, I want to build a, a racetrack there's gonna be really cool uh, got some thinking to do about it but I do want to start the next episode so if you have any ideas now's your time to sort of put down some uh, 
some ideas in the comment section for that. We've got the hospital inspired of real hospitals that I've melded together into one. It was like three or four different hospitals that I really like the uh, the shapes of. And we sort of took bits that we liked and melded them all into one uh, separate uh, hospital and I think it looks really good very modern looking got the new ambulances to put down in here as well uh, but very very nice I really really like this uh, this design so many different levels and I think that's it we've got the uh, tower uh, the tower yeah I was, I was looking there in my peripheral vision uh, we've got the ski lift that goes up to the top of the ski mountain we've got some ski zones to come down and we've got the uh, uh, hunt hunting cabin at the top here anyway this is going to go way longer I've, the uh prison is over there as well but we're, we're going way over time i know these episodes are long episodes anyway I, i'm going to jump into overview very quickly because i know some of you guys like to see it in the overview map as well so i'll see you then all right, so here we are in Overviewer. For those of you that don't know, Overviewer is a program, free program that you can download. Uh, and with a little bit of work, it's a little bit tricky to get your head around at first. But it allows you to render out your Minecraft worlds into a view like this, a sort of isometric view. You can see the entire world. If you've got a huge world, you can zoom all the way out and see it all around. But obviously, our world is just uh, an island here. Uh, so we can zoom right in as well to individual leaf blocks and stuff. Now, 99% of the stuff shows up and works exactly how we want uh, in overview it takes the texture pack that we use as well uh, to texture all the buildings correctly so we don't have like weird buildings it doesn't show things like painting so we don't have the kfc sign here and it uh, doesn't show modded blocks like the tombstones as you can see here where these should be tombstones it looks like these are fence posts or something like that uh, it's obviously just what the game can read it must be the closest id in the game uh, that it has to sort of place it against uh, and I think the, the Ferris wheel's got some weird stuff going on. Yeah, it's got like um, path blocks or farmland or something uh, going over the top. And command blocks instead of beacons. Very strange. That is very strange. But uh, for the most part, it looks really, really cool. This is the uh, prison that we didn't have time to show uh, in the video. It was a separate series. It wasn't built on the Let's Build a City series. It was its own separate uh, series like the island was on the other side. But it's got a full interior uh, inspired off Alcatraz prison, but not an exact replica. It looks really cool. As you can see, we are really filling it out. The green space is starting to fade away and being replaced by a concrete metropolis. And uh, I'm very, very pleased. I want to start adding more trees around the uh, edge of this mountain here as well you know start filling that out in areas that we really can't build but that's going to do it for this episode guys if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe and we should see you in the next episode